the psychological thriller crime series Stay Close grabbed eyeballs from around the world after its release in December 2021. Now that it's been more than three months since the first season ended, fans are curious whether they'll get another season or not. It seems like the odds are in the fans' favor. Rumor has it that Stay Close is returning with a second season soon. And here's everything you need to know. Stay Close Renewal Is it happening? There hasn't been an official announcement confirming the show's renewal for another season, but we have several reasons to believe the rumor. The series is based on a novel written by the famous American author Harlan Coben. Before Stay Close, Coben had two limited series launched on Netflix. However, we never got to see the renewal of any of those shows. But this time, there's something different. The cast members of the series have been kind enough to give out some hints that made us believe that we haven't lost everything and the show might return. During an interview, Richard Armitage, who appears as Ray in the series, said that the viewers never saw Dave get in the car, nor did they see any of it happen. So this means everything that happened was all in our imagination, and we as viewers thought that this was the ending. The actor continued saying that the viewers didn't know what exactly happened, but the interesting thing is that Dave himself didn't know what he'd done either. He added saying, this can be a, quote, brilliant opener for maybe Stay Close 2. Who knows, unquote. Just like that, Bettany Antonia also gave out some hints and said that the past would come back to haunt the characters. She added, saying that this might happen after a long time at Kaylee's wedding. She'll see a yellow car, and that's how all the memories will come back flooding. Antonia's statement had us thinking that the show would return, but with a time jump. Right now, we're relying on these hints and hoping for the show to return soon, because it's very possible that the filming of the second season has already begun. When to expect the release of the second season, if there is one. With no official release date, all we can do is guess the possible timeline of the second season's release. Netflix announced the first season of the show in October 2020, and it took more than a year for this season to finally air in December 2021. Now we are already four months into 2022, and there hasn't been an announcement regarding the upcoming season. This means we have to wait for quite a long time, possibly more than a year. As per our guess, the second season will be released somewhere in early 2024. What to expect from this yet-to-be-confirmed second season? Season 1 started with a clear plot and ended the same way. However, some mysteries still need to be answered, which is one reason why we believe that the second season is definitely coming our way. Anyways, back to the topic. Talking about the mysteries, the first one is related to the last few moments of season 1's finale. We saw Dave telling Megan about how he had pushed Carlton's car into the river. This all happened because he knew that Kaylee had stolen the car, but what he didn't know was that Carlton was also there in the trunk of the car. The first season didn't allow us to see Dave's reaction after he found out what he had done. After all, the matter will come to light at some point, and Dave will have to know that he unintentionally killed Carlton. Apart from that, the second season will also show the effects of this incident on the relationship between Dave and Megan. Not just that, as Antonia mentioned, the new season will probably be about the hauntings of the past. This means the characters will have moved on from the incidents of season one. However, everything is still in their memory and the past still haunts them. So, does that mean we'll witness some of the main characters going through a hard time because of what happened at season one's finale? Most probably, yes. With all of this combined, writers can come up with an amazing, curiosity-filled plot and it's possible that the story will extend from there. An extended storyline means the possibility of more seasons will also be increased, and we should expect more subplots to appear as well. For now, we can't be sure about what's coming our way, but we do know that Harlan Coben is an amazing author, and his works have never disappointed the fans. So let's just wait and watch. Who will be returning for the next season? The potential second season will mostly focus on the Shaw family, which means all of them will return in order to reprise their roles. If you talk about Megan, then she is also also directly involved with the Shaws, which means she'll also return for another season. So it won't be wrong to say that Daniel Francis, Bettany Antonia, and Kush Jumbo will most definitely reprise their roles in the renewal. Apart from them, we'll also get to see Broom and Aaron, portrayed by James Nesbitt and Joe Joyner, in the upcoming season. However, Sarah Parrish, who portrays the role of Lorraine, might not return. Carlton, as we know, has been killed, as per the finale, meaning he won't be returning for the second season 
season either. But Antonia had mentioned that memories would flood her character's mind, so it's possible that Carlton will appear in the flashbacks. Other actors who are most likely to reprise their roles include Yusef Kirkor, Richard Armitage, Tallulah Byrne, Rachel Andrews, Dylan Francis, and Jordan Shaw. Not just that, Ken and Barbie, portrayed by Huey O'Grady and Poppy Gilbert, will also return for another season. Lastly, Jack Shalou, Andy Osho, and Philip Gascoigne will also make a comeback in the potential second season of Stay Close. Stay Close Season 1 Ending Explained Season 2 isn't here yet, so let's have a look at Season 1's ending, because it definitely left us all in a cliffhanger situation. By the end of Season 1, Kayleigh pushed Carlton into the car trunk. However, Lorraine caught her doing this. Even though she hadn't killed Carlton, Lorraine still confessed to the murder in order to protect Kayleigh. She had some very solid reasons to save Kayleigh. First of all, she was recently diagnosed with cancer and the doctors had told her that she had only a few months to live. This means she could be forgiven easily if she was sent to jail. Another thing she said during her confession was that she used to frame men in order to keep them away from women, which made the murder look more like a revenge scheme than a planned murder. Not just that, but her confession also put an end to the investigations of several missing men. Jamala Laid and Ray Levine were also arrested for the same murder investigation. However, Lorraine's confession resulted in their release as well. Ray attended the wedding of Megan and Dave as a former lover and later left the town in order to live a new life. Now, if we talk about Megan, she had been keeping secrets that have been weighing her down. She knew that Kayla and Dave had killed a man, but that was just one of the secrets she's been holding. Apparently, Megan's been hiding something else as well, and that particular secret, if exposed, will have a negative effect on her happily married life. We can say that her fight began by the end of season one, and we should get to know more about it in the potential second season. What to watch until the show's renewal? Harlan Coben fans have plenty of options to choose from when it comes to watching a quality show. Many streaming services have adapted several of Coben's books in the past. Some of these adaptations include The Stream Stranger, The Woods, Gone for Good, The Innocent, Tell No One, Just One Look, and No Second Chance. Apart from being an author, Coben has worked as the creator of a few projects as well. One of his most famous projects as a creator is The Five. Other than Coben's book adaptations, thriller and crime mystery fans should give shows like The Mentalist, Sharp Objects, The Missing, Dare Me, Beyond Evil, White Lines, and Tabula Rasa a shot. All these shows have one thing in common and that is a taste of mystery and murder. Where to watch Stay Close Stay Close is a Netflix original, which means you can only watch it on Netflix. You can watch the show by getting a monthly subscription that'll cost you as low as $9.99. If it isn't showing up in the search results of your Netflix, it's probably because the show hasn't been released in your area. You'll need a good VPN to solve this issue, and you are good to go. For now, this is everything we know about the potential second season so far. But don't worry, we'll keep you in informed about more updates and news about your favorite series. Do tell us what you think about the renewal of Stay Close in the comments below. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Till next time, stay safe and stay healthy. See you in the next one.